All right, I'm back, YouTube. Finally done. Delivered off my truck, off my trailer. Waiting for a pre-plan or a backhaul, whatever y'all call it. To get the hell up out of here. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Woohoo. All right, well, this video I want to make on um, self-defense and ways to knock somebody out. Now, um, when you get into something, like, say, for women especially, like, you're out and about and you know you about to get into a confront a physical confrontation with somebody um obviously the first thing you want to be is aware you want to be aware of your surroundings and just aware of the person's like body movements um just their attitude their whole demeanor are they going from being all of a sudden nice to being aggressive like just really pay attention to how they are and also pay attention to how close they are like a full arm a full arm length distance is normal distance that somebody should be close to you if they come in past this arm distance they're violating your personal space and if you feel threatened you have every right to self defend yourself i mean self defense laws are different in every state but i mean it's common sense to know that if somebody is threatening your life you're supposed to protect yourself so obviously if you're able to not to say that this is going to always work but if you're able to land a face shot, there are spots on the face that you can, you know, either you can land a closed fist, an open hand, or a hammer, a hammer um, fist punch to that will most of the time knock somebody out if you do it with enough force. Now you have the top of the head, which is supposed to be like um, the top of your chakra, your your skull. Like the top of anybody's head is sensitive. Like just remember having a baby and most of the time when you look down at your baby's head, you see like a little tender spot that's really tender. And that's still kind of the same thing with adults today. It's just the skull over the years does thicken up, but it's still a tender spot to where you hit somebody. It's like say you come down, like say you come down somebody's head real like bang. You come down somebody's head really hard, you can really kill them or knock them out. All right, now from the top of your chakra, you got your temple, you got your temple, your bones. So if you can hammer somebody, you know, sideways on the head, you know, that can be devastating too and knock them out. And then you have, um, I think this is called, I forgot what bone it's called, but underneath the eye, the eyelids, like your cheekbones, if you can land, um, eat, like I said, an open, open hand is more better. Because depending on how hard you hit, you know, the face is still bone. So bone to bone punch can break your knuckles. So to kind of save your knuckles, the best thing to do is open hand. Because this is more sturdy, like more push when you push on, push on to somebody. Especially, like a lot of times if you throw a punch, you're not just going to throw it with your arm. You're going to throw it with your body. Like you're going to have your stance. Well, depending on if you southpaw, right paw. So, you know, you're going to have your stance. So, you know, when you throw, you're not just going to be like, leave me alone. You're not going to do that. You're going to, you're going to, obviously you're going to block, you're going to tuck your chin and you're going to block, like you're going to block in your stance. And then when you go to throw, you know, you see how my shoulder's going back, you're going to throw. And when you throw, you're going to throw, like you're going to use your, your right foot to kind of throw into the punch. Bow. Like that foot is going to, your feet is going to plant and your shoulders is going to throw. It's like if you just if you got your hand open you're either gonna bow or you're just gonna bow so either way whatever you aiming for especially if you're strong as hell you're gonna fuck somebody up so you got your temple you got your temple you got your top chakra the skull of the head you got underneath your you got your cheekbones that you can like uh, knock them out and last but not no it's two more you got your nose bone you know you hit somebody like this is your sinus area you ever just like just hit anything like this just even do like this and see how much it feels like oh that that don't feel right and imagine and you really can do the open hand on somebody's nose like you really shove somebody nose up into their brain like a lot of um chinese people believe in that like like if they come at you they can pretty much shove this right shove your nose bone right into your brain and you automatically done so you got your nose bone and then last but not least and every mma fighter pretty much know this your jaw bone they gonna have to wait okay you got your jaw bone 
if you land most likely like i said you can do the open hand on fist but most of the time when you fight most people their normal response is to just ball up and just ball up like you know a lot of times you're going to start off with the side before you throw but when you throw you're going to uh, like you're going to twist it like it's going to be like this and then when you throw it twist so uh, twist so you just uh they going down son you get like uh down son that jaw like, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> it's going down all right so let's do a recap you got your top skull like hammer fist like just uh on top of the head or you got your temples you have to wait got your oh my lord this is wait you don't have to wait okay you got your temples you got your cheekbones you got your nose bone and you got your jaw if you manage to get any of those, you can just bam, turn around and run. Now you don't want to stay there. I mean, everybody know you might know how to fight or whatever like that, but the whole purpose is to do enough to where you can get away. Cause I mean, obviously if you stay there and you continue to do more damage and then the police come, now you're going to jail for attempted murder because that's not self-defense. If you're staying there, just uh, 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 like you just staying there, just going at it. You tried to kill this dude, even though he did try to kill you. But the main thing you want to do is just do enough to where you can get to safety. But if you do that, that shows that you really was just trying to defend yourself because he messed with you first or she messed with you first, vice versa, this and that. And then also too, you know, you want to have your weapons. Like, um, I showed y'all my knife, but I'll show y'all again. So I got a couple of them things. I don't play no games. So yeah, shoot. You gotta learn how to use this stuff so you know i'm trying to really get good i haven't really learned how to you know how to use it yet so you got to kind of practice this stuff that's why i said workout is important because i mean technique is more important over anything like a lot of people say oh he's too big he's too strong you no know, out of all that stuff technique beats strong strength and and um like bigness like if you know your technique you can beat the strongest dude ever because it's, it's all really in feel. So when you get into it with somebody, you just, you know, you feel to know which move you can do. Whether, can you reverse his arm and break it? Can you bend it out backwards and break it? Or can, you know, stuff like that. Like, you got to feel. That's what a lot of people that do grappling do. Like, grappling is uh, ground and pound. Like, most of the time, if you get into a fight, sometimes you can't avoid falling to the ground and some people that's there especially that they can fight while on the ground because when you on the ground you know it's just you and that person so all this tussling and bustling you can really feel like what okay you want to do this all right i'm gonna react this way like you know just feel so you know i just wanted to share that with y'all because obviously to knock somebody out of course is when you're standing up you know about to go at it with somebody so you can kind of size the situation up to know if you even got the ability to land because most people especially people that don't know how to fight they leave their face wide open like if you about to get into somebody and you see them drop their stance tuck their face and do like this that mean they about they know how to fight but if they just stand like this just got their hands like this oh you could fuck them up like they what, what is this you ain't protecting none of this or none of that you got your hands we supposed to have that tuck and tuck your face like tuck bob and weed bob so that's just my take on self-defense everyone i hope that was any help and this is obviously mainly for the ladies because most ladies seem to need more um you know knowledge on self-defense than the men for the most part but then men are becoming such softies that i guess y'all probably can use it too so time is the essence everyone hopefully this next load be pretty decent and not full of shit and um i'll be getting back with y'all like i said i'm still going to talk about the death fluid system and i still want to talk about tires as well so i'll be getting back with y'all i hope everybody's having a lovely day y'all stay blessed out there and i'll talk to y'all soon deuces